What's going on, people? No Hello, Buffer people Podcast. We are here. Yep. All uh, of us are in attendance. We are. H disappeared. I don't know where he is at. Cause Cause they they take little shit. It's all good. Wow. We, we put him out there like that for real. Drop some <laughs> kids off at the pool. To let them Cleveland Browns to the Super Bowl. Hey, because they ain't going to get nowhere. See a man by the horse. Life. See a man by the horse. What are the other expressions? I said drop the kids off at the pool mm. the first time. No Buffer Podcast, Cosby man. Kids. You said what? What was it? They got one about the, with the Cosby kids. I've Take never heard of Cosby kids swimming or something like that. Oh, same thing. Drop the kids off at the I've never heard of You heard that one before? No. That is brand new to me. <laughs> it probably was off the top. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to make that one a thing? Yeah, it was like, yeah, you want to just try this one out? I'm going to throw that one in and see what we get oh, with. I do have a question about Second that. Second temperature. I do have a question. So, like, so like, I don't know if this happened. So, I always know this meme about when, when your girl steals your lingo. That's how you know she fucking with you. Is that the same thing with guys? Like, if you hear your man's pull a little, a little, a little lingo off, you try to throw it. Not when he's around, but around another group of niggas, and you try to see if it works for you. Do niggas do that? I feel like y'all do that on the low. I don't think y'all going. I don't to think. It. Well, I mean, I'm saying I, I see where you're coming from. I don't think like that's. It might. I, okay, I, I've definitely said something to be like, oh no, that ain't even me. Right. And caught myself, but that's right. like when you're around people. Mm. You know what I mean? But. Hit That's your niggas with the yes. I ain't never hit my niggas. No, 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 not no, 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 no. I'm saying like, like I definitely do that. The gut, like with uh, H, yeah, like God, I say that, and I, but that's like a joke though. You know but what I mean? You ever pull off the hilarious moment? But not, not saying that you do it intentionally. It's just like, oh, that's like just I after a while, you kind of get accustomed to it. I've done, and then you I've say done hilarious. It's like, oh, okay, like you, you realize when the other niggas out the crew start saying some of your phrases. Y'all ain't never had that. I mean, come on. I said this is fire the other week, but that you shit did. I caught myself like, what the fuck <laughs> that come from? You did hit that with the this is you fire, did. bro. You no, you didn't say bro though. You didn't no, get the bro. No, you didn't. But you definitely you said, said fire, fire right? But yeah, I mean, I guess that happens. That happens. I but just I always I always see the meme about when your girl start using that's, the lingo. That's that's one hundred percent though. I mean, I know it's true, but I'm like, I'm just thinking for guys amongst themselves, it's got to be at least a phrase or word that you just not even that you think like, oh yeah, I'm just cool. I'm gonna use it, but it's like. You just pick up on it after a while, and then all all of a sudden you may say it in a little a little line or something, and it just kind of catches on. That's now that's part of your little vocab. I've done that and be like, yeah, I probably hang around this person a little too much. Let me, <laughs> let, me let me correct myself. I'm like, real all right, quick. Steve, man, I'm gonna holler at you. I'll holler at you next week. Hey, bro, yeah, bro, I'm about to, I'm about to head to the house. <laughs> that's when it's time to go home. Yeah, I'll be like, yeah, <laughs> man, um, yeah, I've been out with you too many times yeah. this week. Let me just. I just wonder. That was, that, was, that was a question, right? <laughs> if I'm saying, if I'm saying your, your lingo, like verbatim. Yeah, it's time to go. It's time yeah, to go home. That's, that's you gotta go too. spend some time to yourself. <laughs> Facts. Cool. <laughs> gotta be like, I right, cool. Yeah. Right. I can acknowledge where this came from. You can acknowledge. But as a man, I'm gonna you. have to do better about Got myself. You. Got you. <laughs> By the way, I'm uh, I'm last name good. And to my right, we have the lovely Cheyenne XO. And to my right, we have the wonderful. If y'all don't know what's going on by now, I don't know what to tell you, bro. Mm. Ooh. Hitting with you with the end of the year swag. Yeah, that is. That was spicy. 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 That was real. Little cayenne pepper on them. If you don't know who it is by now, bro. Right. <laughs> we at the year in, man. We at the, the end of the end year. End of the man. year, man. Yeah, you gotta know what's going on. Yeah, we on. winding down a little bit. This episode 40, by the way, I think. Right? Oh, that's wild. But just for the new listeners, Lingo Steve. They right. Appreciate that, bro. Putting them on game. Yeah. yeah for yeah. the newbies. So saying like what? I think. S- around Super Bowl, y'all gonna be at 50. Close to. That's when we supposed to smoke, right? Ooh. I didn't put that in there. Uh-oh. This is a goddamn... I hate it. Abort! <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no 50, bitch. This nigga the abort. You gonna find a reason to be out of town. Man, bro. my nigga just aborted bitch. You gonna be bro. like... You know, y'all bro, can do the, the podcast. The we gonna do two in a row. Bro, they ain't got nothing to do with when the last time... Whatever happened, bro. Like, hey, I'm gonna say this, bro. I'm grown. Whatever. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't succumb to peer pressure. I'm not gonna lie. I do what I want to do. No, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna still hit lingo. I do I'm what not, I want to do. That nigga aborted mission, bro. Hey, I do what I want to do, Steve. That nigga aborted mission, bro. I thought no, he was all the cahoots. If you if you over the age of like twenty five, maybe thirty, you can still get shit done. Yeah, you can you still get shit done. Yeah, like no, real talk though. When I turn There's fifty, no I'm gonna do a bunch of stuff that I um. Do because you know you that's that age when you just like I do whatever I really want to do for real. I feel like you should do. You know, like go outside free balling or something. Like what you mean? 
Like, why why not? At 50, like, what else? You know, it's like, really, like, who am I? Sweatpants with no drawers on. <laughs> Just be a Go outside, up, free balling. Walk into the mailbox. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I know how you do it. Go with the tight ass sweatpants. With the tight sweatpants. And the church socks. <laughs> so you don't wow. care. I do what with, I want to do. With the, with the flip flip flaps. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now you might have the tails on. Oh, I lied, y'all. It's um, this episode thirty nine, I think. Oh, had this hype for no reason. What was last week? Did we say when the buddy passed? Yeah, that was. Oh, it was thirty eight. I think I looked. Thirty nine. Wow. Uh. Oh well, we let y'all keep up no with it because we obviously ain't keeping up with it. We yeah, not, go. bro. Y'all struggle this every week, bro. We it's definitely do good, that every bro. week. We, we ain't went nowhere from last week, bro. We, good, we could bro. have, we could have, we could have yeah. moved the needle a little bit. We went nowhere. Still game up a little bit. Mm-hmm. I'm saying, anywho, so free balling and what else? That if you ever hear me say any who tap me on the show to be like, bro, that's Steve. Chill out. I'm definitely when I get older. What I'm I have definitely. If I if you ever hear me say any who. I'm gonna be like tap me on my shoulder and be like, bro, that's Steve. Chill out. Oh, oh that okay. show, that's Steve's Lino. I, I, Steve is the only person I ever heard say anywho. Uh, I've heard that today. Anywho. <laughs> like in in like conversation to where it don't feel like he's trying to say anywho. I guess that's more so what I mean. Like if you say a phrase and it just rolls off your tongue, like you could tell. Like even if it is from somebody else, it, it's such a. What's the I got word you. I'm looking for. Fluid, mm, fluid word that it just you know it, it's a, you know it works with everybody. It's universal. You don't hit that sativa before she came. Her mind just open. Mm. I see what's going on. That was last <laughs> week. <laughs> Definitely last week. Definitely last week. Yeah. Nah, you still be dipping? And from time to time, oh, if, okay. I, if I'm in a mood with the, with the carpet. Nah. Somebody you comfortable with? Nah. I def I definitely hit it with my dad though. Me and my dad got somebody you comfortable with. Yeah, I'm with you, bro. Y'all in this carpet. Him in this carpet, bro. Listen, it's been at least at least. Oh no! This this has been it's been four months. It's been going on. I'm just trying to see if it's gonna come into fruition. Oh, it's not. It's 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 progressing. You know, see if it progress. No, it's not. Ain't let her hit it and quit it now, did you? Cut him off. Oh, oh. I can't deal with no pink meat, so we good. Since y'all keep bringing it up, I guess I'll let y'all know the facts. I thought it was black. No, I thought black. Jesus was black. Not that guy. The carpenter ain't black. No, he's a white guy. We, definitely got, we definitely got. We definitely had a black carpenter for the picture, though. Oh no! Nah, yeah, oh, one hundred percent. I, mean, y'all, y'all I never, thought he was black. Y'all bro. never asked, so I just let y'all roll with it. It's cool. I thought this guy was black the nah. entire time. Oh, he must, on, he must have really pissed her off. Yeah, he, so he, I heard to bring that information out. Right, bro. Y'all never asked. He sent the dick pic. I'm just saying, like. Oh, y'all, you just, y'all you just felt on it. it. It's a white guy. I'm, I don't need much more than that. I'm not. I'm just not appealed to pink meat. Are we good? Appeal to pink meat. The piglet. Yeah, I'm this, good. Hey, this is the time when we get quiet. We're like, exactly. Shia, take it away. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm just not. I'm just not. I'm, I'm not. I've dated well, a white guy before. Well, all righty then. I'm, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. You know, this is that time of the podcast when, like, you know. Oh, this when we hit, let's just move on, bro. No, it wasn't even a let's move oh. on moment. It was just like that that point where it was like, oh yeah, like we came to the realization because we were we thought this was a black guy the whole time. You just opened a whole no. like another dimension. No, y'all never. I mean, he y'all never white. asked. Y'all just kept going on with it, so I just figured I let it be a little. So, I mean, it's cool. So he was white. Yeah, he was a white guy. Like thoroughbred, like. Blue eyes. Hold on, no, this is the real I question. I don't think he had blue eyes. Did he have? Did he had a beard? No. Okay. No. See, I have a theory. Mm. I can look at a white guy and tell if he date a black girl. Mm. It's all in the beard. Facts. If he has a beard, that's kind of like you know how like and, and not even like yeah. this, but if it's like what you do the line. He, he definitely fucks a black, black girl. Yeah. Now if it's just like all, all over the, the place, place, it's a white girl. Yeah. I I I haven't been wrong. I'm, I'm probably ninety percent. I'm shooting ninety percent. No, that's, that. that's like, definitely accurate. <clears throat> but um, no, nah, it was it was a white guy. You go the truth stats. No, <laughs> <laughs> truth hey <laughs> stats. Truth, truth, truth hey. I told you, truth need a podcast. The observational facts. Right the other week, bro. that's what he <laughs> called Straight up observational facts. Truth right, crazy. The other week he got into it with somebody at the jail, bro. That shit was hilarious, bro. Meantime, I'm feeding the rib sandwich. I bet y'all won't go to seven real quick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Shit, I'm shooting forty percent from out there. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a true yeah, stat. Bro, that's what he said, bro. I said we try to win. You out here crunching numbers. <laughs> wow. 
I'm shooting 40% out there. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're going to play six games. You're talking about I'm shooting 40, bro. Where that stat sheet at, bro? <laughs> Well, I mean, the easy math that if you took 10 shots and hit four of them, now that's, that's, that's the easy math. <laughs> that's the easy math. Right, bro. right, right. That's the easy one, bro. Or two for five. Yeah. Nah, that shit was hilarious, though. <laughs> Shout out True, man. Shout out True, hey. Hey, I'm going I'm to I'm stunt real quick. Go ahead. Hmm. Talk your shit, my nigga. So, um, I walked on the field today at uh, Mercedes Benz Stadium. Stunt. Had the tour. Oh, I seen it on your, on your Insta snap. I yeah. was like, Oh, he, Y'all flex. stay booking that tour though. Weird flex, but okay. We didn't. They they canceled that the first time. They canceled because of the um, parade for um, oh, Atlanta United. Yeah. Okay. Nah, I don't seen that way before that, bro. I don't see like. I well, like I said I three times. Y'all my, done booked it. My old lady went one time with Jade, oh. and then this time we we all went. The last the time before that though, that was when the parade. So they canceled. Oh, okay. Y'all went to the locker rooms and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's it's a nice tour though. Oh, I need really to nice get tour. on there. Yeah, it's a nice I, tour. I knew, I knew it's always up there. Yeah, no, they and now is the best time to go because both sports are over with at home. So, so it's like you can go and you know what I'm saying. Like pause mine to January. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Man, so good, you're going good to be out here with the, with the gram teasers. Man, you know, I don't be on the gram heavy, so but when, when I do, he do, he definitely just, be in there. Like he had a picture of the grass. No, he got a picture of the grass. He got he got the the. Let me show um, you. Let me hold on. Hold on one second. This might be the. This he might got be the, the good artwork. photography uh, aesthetic. Yeah. This might the be the, the artwork. The man. I'm all, gonna, I'm gonna stand on this down, taking the Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not at all, bro. With the, <laughs> <laughs> with the at good photography page. <laughs> Most slide, bro. What we doing? Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, he definitely got photo skills on fleek. I see you. Oh, you know, you I see him? Show, it's a different angle. You Good know? photography. Yeah, he, 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 he did. Down he low. went down low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He been down low for that one. Just sit the phone on the grass real quick. Oh, you know, nah. give people a different perspective. He people you, don't get that field view. Light drip. You know what I'm saying? It's a light drip. I got to get the, the different yeah, depths. Of yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. You got the grass and you got the. That might be the artwork. Right here, you. I like art type. And then you got to be in the center of the field. Right. You got to be on the center of the field. No, that's that's goalpost to goalpost, right? That show you the full 100 yards, 120 if you include end zone to end zone. Just throw that out there, just in case for people that actually know football a little bit. It's cool. Um, they so got that was nice, yesterday. No, it was today. I've been out yesterday. Ward Dunn was they out played there yesterday. Huh? Yeah, Ward Dunn was out there. He was your tour guy. No, he was actually shooting something. Like they would, go, you know. I was really. Oh prim- yeah, they're shooting something over there. I had my, my my little girl, so you know, like having a kid with you is prime. Like, oh yeah, go ahead and take a picture. Cause you know I'm I'm I don't unless it's somebody who oh, you I got really stiffed. no no it wasn't that no 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 it wasn't that but I'm saying like anybody that's been to a sporting event if you try to go up there and get some it's different than when the little kid walking up oh it's yeah facts, little, they, facts, facts. they open up a little bit more it was yeah. like okay this is a, a, a one year old they're a little more lenient than than the regular the one y'all don't know him yeah yeah but it was um. <laughs> stupid they were shooting <laughs> some so I was just like you know oh, oh I thought on, you got stiffed on. No, 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 no. no, no. Put work on it on the list. No, <laughs> no. He was he was out there. Um, they were doing something, but he was throwing the football with with, I guess somebody else who he was in the crew with. You know mm. what I mean? But uh, no, facilities are nice, but what's like even nicer, like Arthur Blank have a suite, right? Mm. It's called um, Gold Water or something like that. So from from inside the suite. You look and you don't think it's that big, but then they show you when you get on the field the suite. The suite take over like four sections. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, so he's yeah. like he got his main suite and mm-hmm. then everything like three, you know, yeah. like three on each side. It's just like, bro, like this is who all in here? Right. You know what I mean? Like it's a lot of people in there, but it's a nice facility, though, man. I, you know, take the tour if you get a chance, but it's a real nice facility. They did a good job. They said they'll spend one point six billion dollars to date mm-hmm. on the stadium. I was like, what? Hmm, y'all be amazing <laughs> on how much it's going on that dumbass Atlanta streetcar station, but. 1.6 billion. Mm. <laughs> That's insane. Bro, that don't even sound right. But they can't fix these dumbass potholes. We should have no poverty around this motherfucker. Man, we like, what should are have we no talking potholes. about, bro? 1.6. They started out, it was 1. Point, I think they said it was 1.3 to build it, like when they started. Mm-hmm. But since then, they've added. Like three, what's that? Three hundred million. Mm-hmm. That's like the backyard, cookout, and all that. 
That's the thing about it. They better get all that money right back. Bro, they say it's $2 million. I'm more than sure they made that money back. Yeah, they about, they probably got it back from the season. The Super Bowl, they about to get that money. Oh, they're going to get it back. Beyonce get was there. Back. Come on. Elton John was there. Definitely made that money Well, back. honestly, I mean, it, it's probably the same. But I know in Cincinnati, do I guess our taxes pay for that stadium? I, I, I guess, but I don't I know for sure. Because so. in Cincinnati, the taxes pay for the stadium. I but I don't know. So. Definitely like the city. Yeah, they rip me all over that old ass stadium. Well, see, this. <laughs> he said, it's been there for. <laughs> it's been there since like 2000. Oh, that ain't too bad. Yeah, that's they, a dog. Bro, they said they spent. You right, though. That that's is, 18 yeah, years. It don't though. seem like, but it is a long time, but. That's a dog, bro. You right. $2 million on art. <laughs> I was in like the fourth grade, bro. That's a dog, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, you are a little ahead of the game. I mean, Young, so, yeah. man. I was, I was in. Oh, you weren't born? Ooh. No, I was just talking. <laughs> 18 yeah. years ago? No, no. No, nah, I'm fucking with him, bro. I was, I was like, hold on. We're in, the, we're in the same <laughs> area, my guy. <laughs> oh, bro, but does that not creep you out when you meet people who like born in 2000, bro? Like, No, it does. It's very creepy. Yeah. Because it's like, hold on. like bro, You ain't even seen Train today, huh? But, Yo, I seen some, like, some girl that was seen born. some classic shit going on. I seen on. some girl that was born in 2007. That shit freaked me out. Mm. 2007? Seven. That sound weird, man. Like, nigga. Huh. 2000 you, really <laughs> threw me off. Bro. Like, Neo was popping. Trey Songz was popping. You was just getting there? Like, that's yeah. crazy. I mean, shit, 96 and 97 be throwing me off sometimes. That too, yeah. It do. I feel like anything after 94 really be throwing me off. I can get with 93, 94. Like, bro, my sister was born in 2000. Yeah, that's wild. Yo, that's oh, wild. Man. Here you go. Hey, they was... Like you said, they was. Your sister's born in two thousand, bro. Two thousand, bro. She did college, 18. bro. You said it was playing. No, I you was on your way no, to college when she um when she was born. I was eleventh grade. No, I was junior going to senior year. I think so. Yeah, cause she she was born in December, so it's like a she went to school late. You know what I'm saying? So like she was. Got gotcha. you. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> it's crazy, man. That is crazy. For real. It's the gap between you and your brother. Huh. What's the gap between you and your younger brother? Um, it's nine 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 seven. Damn, <laughs> for real? God, damn. But I mean, like my older, I, my brother older than me is like my dad had before he met my mom. But so like with us, it's three. So it was nine, nine, and seven. Even still, I mean, yeah, that's, that's a, gap. a gap. No, I told him I was like, yeah, like I would not want to do that. I mean, the good thing is keep them young, cause like you met my parents. My parents don't. If if I were to tell you that my mom was like born in sixty, what's that fifty eight? You wouldn't think my mom was fifty eight at all, and my dad's sixty one. You wouldn't. They don't. They have a youthful. My, I would. I just went. I was home. gonna say your yeah, parents are actually young, considering. I, I just went home to pick up my daughter. Right, my dad was making beats, and yeah, they weren't no wild. bad beats. You feel me? Like <laughs> it wasn't no like sixty year old yeah. making a beat. You know what it I mean? It wasn't down there producing for yeah, like. Yeah, it wasn't. Like, like it, it, it wasn't like. <laughs> <laughs> he was current. It was current. <laughs> Love it. He was like, right. listen to this. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, it had a little flavor to it. Right. It had a little yeah. sauce in it. He had the 808 on it. Right. He was he scared, he wasn't scared that of the bass. Pops had the 808 on it. Nah, that's what's up. He went in there like, with the is that shit. Got a whole monarchy in the background. Wait, <laughs> plays on the drums. He went on the drums. <laughs> I mean, even considering your parents are fair, like fairly young, considering. Yeah. Oh no, no. To be don't. honest, like to be honest, they're that's that's young. I be thinking about it. Though. I'm like, sure, I'm 34. That's young. Yeah. So y'all. So so you. I don't know. I kind of feel like you was the only child to my nine years. I mean, like, yeah. yeah I'm say you got I mean, but I'm saying my bro, like, older brother though. Yeah, but and y'all it got. Like he wasn't around. But y'all you know got I mean? gaps in between no, where you didn't feel gaps. that. You know what I'm saying? Like the sibling. At home, thing. I was nine until my mom had my little brother. So it was like I got used to being the only child. But it wasn't like no. You were old enough to comprehend. Like, all right, this is I'm about to be a big brother. Oh no, I was saying? old enough to do more to comprehend. <laughs> my folks, it ain't like nowadays. My folks put me to work. I was no, but that's what I'm saying. Like most kids don't have that that Baby that kid? gap in between. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. It's yeah. usually like two, three years, and it's like, oh, I got I got this it's, thing. It's cool, be. but I I mean. As you get older, mm. it changes. But like growing up, like they, my sister always felt like 
like my daughter. You know what I'm saying? Like that's our, that's always been. I was gonna ask, is that? Well, not now because well, like I mean, now not, that we're older, saying, like, it's different. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, growing up, it was always, almost like I would show people that was like, oh, this is my little sister. Be like, bro, yeah, you just yeah. had a kid. Or well, that's and your like, cousin. It's one of yeah, them. like you just had a kid. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. and for my little brother, kind of, it was just a gap. Yeah. So it was. It, it ain't until like when my brother hit like. 20, 21, it was like on some like, oh, no, we can actually like go in, even though I ain't on no party, we can actually go out and have fun <laughs> right. together. You know what I'm saying? So that's the only thing about that having a gap like that because you don't get that that type of. That sibling and Yeah, you don't get that. Yeah, that's crazy. So I, I say that. I ain't doing that. I don't know what my folks would think, but that junk crazy. Yeah, that's wild. They, was... they probably saved a lot of money. Yeah. No bullshit. <laughs> yeah. All right, we good. This, we good this, this quarter. This quarter, <laughs> let's go ahead and knock it out. Let's go ahead and knock it out. Yeah. This decade. Let's go, go ahead and get out the way. Let's go ahead. <laughs> we didn't got ears in the game. We good. Let's get it. That's actually it. smart. I don't know, bro. I, I mean, don't know, bro. If you. That's deep, if, bro. I'm saying if, they, if, if nine, that's nine, what the seven. case was. I put it like this. It might, it might be cool. I mean, okay, from a financial standpoint, it might be From a make financial sense. standpoint. But. You, they, my, my folks, they never had an empty house. That too. You feel me? They wait like, for somebody to get grown. That's what I'm saying. So <laughs> it's like, even when, when I deal, I mean, you you dealing with. Now you got a whole nother life You got a life nine and a two through. year old. Yeah. Like you got like legit kids. You got a with, life cycle to go through all over. And grandkids. Right. Well, they got grandkids. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so it's. They never you know, going to have an empty house. Maybe that's a good thing for them. They won't I have mean, the empty emptiness. In that, that. That's what I'm saying. It's all about the person. Me personally. Yeah, that too. I, oh no, you gotta go. I'm over. It. I'm, I'm on some like you I'm know. I'm over it. You out? Shoot, I'm I'm thinking about what the house feel like without kids. Hey, me and daddy, we good. Y'all go to bed. Y'all out. For real. Y'all go, y'all go home. I learned a, I learned a new term, man. What you should say, and I know this ain't for y'all. Y'all don't have kids, but this for the people that listen that might have kids. Just say you're comfortable where you're at currently. That could be for anybody, That's a really. Phrase. But like instead of because. You can't be insensitive to people who, like, there are some people out here legit want kids and can't have them. You know what's really funny about that phrase? So I've been, I, I sometimes do these social experiments for my own tally. And so lately, whenever people ask if I have kids, mm-hmm. I tell them no, which I don't. Mm-hmm. And then they ask me if I want to have kids. And then I say no, mm-hmm. just for my own purposes. And then they go. Well, why? Yeah, like, yeah, people get offended. You know, that like. part is like, to me as a woman, it makes me feel like it's not my only job in the world to have right, kids. Right, And it's not your priority to convince me that I should push somebody out of my vagina just because... That went graphic just then. I'm then, serious. Bro, that, that was glory, bro. <laughs> because I feel like... <laughs> but it's because, honest. It's because, honest. Out of, because out of their... I'm not, I'm not saying that there. I'm not saying that kids aren't a blessing. Like, I want kids... Personally, I do, mm-hmm. but I think when I switch that mode, and I'm like, no, nah, you know, I really don't want kids. The older I get, I'm satisfied with. I'll be a step parent, which is cool with me. Mm-hmm. I've dealt with men with kids before. I have no problem with that. But you know, when I start explaining to them my reasons for not wanting to have kids, yeah. then it's like they try to convince me as to why I should have kids, <coughs> and I just don't think that's a fair obligation because when a man says he don't has ki- he doesn't have kids. And then you the ask him stops. why. Yeah, it's just like, oh, <laughs> You don't okay. even get to the why. Yeah, like, you don't even. And, and no woman's trying to convince him, like, you should have kids. This is a blessing. You might get a hand and, clap. And yeah, it's like, what the fuck? Like, oh, men you don't go through this. No, I don't have you a kid. A, bro, that's like, hey, oh, okay, that's what's then, up. Then you'll start, so what you do? So what you like, do? Yeah, yeah, the conversation like, go deep. You're I just right, don't though. think it's fair. As, I mean, I get the society, so whatever. True, but I just think it's unfair to persuade a woman on why she should have kids if she clearly the tone gives definitely you, is yeah. different it's completely not, different it's like it's very so what's wrong with you yes you I, get that often. I get that often they be like oh you you must who you live with and it's like all right i live by myself oh so you ain't never had a man it's like yo i've i've been in relationships i if i'm just telling you i just don't want kids i just don't want kids i don't think there's nothing wrong with that so it's definitely different it's man. definitely Comple- different. it's like like you got the spoiled different. goods bro that's it. yeah it's completely different i feel you dude you had that with a guy everybody especially the older you get like you like so you at that age right now where it's, it, you tell somebody you don't have kids they like what like it's you wrong. don't have kids like yeah. huh <clears throat> I don't definitely got to lean back in the squint, but I'm like, look at you, bro. Like, you got to get a babysitter to go is out, it, bro. Well, I mean, not even that. Just to, not even go out. Just to make, 
Yeah. Just to do a, make no, a move. move. Yes, yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. You, le- you legit going from the the un- here's the honest part, right? Like as as a as a man, because I don't think people hear about men having kids. They kind of just like like you said, they put it on the women. And, mm-hmm. But like as a as a man, especially a man who does multiple things, they ain't just like no go home, Regular, go to work, nine to five. Yeah, yeah it's like home. you yeah. got other stuff. Like if anything is popping, anything happens, you gotta I have to do make some arrangements. Extra. Right. That's the first thing. Right. So like when people hit me up and they be like, "Yo, you ain't coming out," I'm like, "No, like why not?" Arrange for that. Like, fam, this is gonna be a hundred dollar night if I come out to right. anything during the week. That's, but I think or the for, weekend, even for you, women, it's you like get a drink. <clears throat> right. Fast. <laughs> but even for women, it's like women go through that all the time mm-hmm. without even, you know. Without even having to say all that, it's just like, no, nah, I can't go because I got the kids. And it's like, like, oh, why? You can't. And it's like, women always get the end of that stick that nobody talks about. And I just mm. think I just think it's unfair that when that conversation is brought up, it's, it's supposed to be this grand ordeal that we're supposed to have this idea of kids, family, and everything. I just don't think it's necessary. Shout out to the homie Cornelius. Went to college with him. He was like... What's his name? Cornelius. Okay, cool. Corn. We call him Corn. <laughs> no, you out. <laughs> you no, you wild. know old school, but he he put it. He was like, "Look, we're comfortable where we're at currently." I was like, "Bro, I'm using that That's for real, cool. using that because it just oh, he don't have none. No, he got two. Oh, but it was like we like talking about like y'all think about having more kids. It was just like we're comfortable where we're at right now. I was That's like, a fact. I'm using that. You want to get Jada? Uh, uh. We're comfortable where Sibling, we're at right bro. now. We're comfortable where we're at right now. Girl, I got one on the way too, though. You heard? I ain't know. That's what's up, bro. That's the energy people putting that out. That nigga say, <laughs> Yo, why well, he give you the look away first? He was like, oh, no. He had a look away. He, like, like, he looked away and was like, oh, no. Oh, oh yeah, you're yeah. right. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, who coming through the door? That's the Uh oh, Daddy Black. Look, that nigga get. But nigga, what? <laughs> Can't put no kids Nigga, on no who? men, boy. We ain't trying to hit. Right. No. No, that's wild. No, man. I tell bro, everybody, bro. Startled, like, bro. Like, for what real. What the fuck this nigga just say? <laughs> and I know, like, no, I'm just going to drop this just because I feel the need to. I'm going to get real serious with y'all. Ooh, right. let's go. Real serious. All right. And this ain't about no religion. Good. It ain't about nothing like this. Personally, this is the worst of last, last name good. Name you got to Ooh. No, these are words of last Snapping good. fingers. I personally think if you decide to have kids, you should be married. And I don't care if you're gay or straight. You should have somebody there to help you with them kids. Absolutely. That's just my personal opinion. Can a, can a single mother do it? Yes. Can a single father do it? Yes, he can. Hey, it don't mean that you should do it. Mm-hmm. Why well, marriage, though? Huh? Well, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna that that sounds good, but like I'm gonna be honest with when it when it gets into things that you have to look into when it comes to like insurance and stuff like that. Like here's the thing, right? You could be in a long term relationship with a spouse. If you go, if you like fall out and, and like get sick, if you don't have her as your power of returning, she can't make no decision for you in the hospital. This is like some real life stuff. So like if you on, you in the hospital on like some shh. I know that's what I'm about to say. No, I'm just like no, like No, no, no. It's I asked you that cuz shout out to connecting the dots CTD underscore ATL. Oh, okay. We had this conversation and she, you know the host is a woman and she was talking about That was like her she want to get first. married, she's supposed to be married and she was saying why she mm-hmm. basically said what you were saying cuz we were saying the same thing like man I, what were we talking about? Women forcing men to marry them? Because she was saying, my body only got this long. And I'm like, so now you forcing a man to do 100%. something. 100%. Do. I, don't think, I don't think anybody should be forced to marry anybody. I'm just offering the... Like, the, if that's what y'all going to do, that's a legitimate reason on why to do it. You yeah. Know, I know you going to do it. Huh? <laughs> you said you don't know if you're going to do right, it. Everybody around here is a mistake. Facts. What, I, I can't. Oh, yeah, I was playing. I was definitely yeah, I was, wasn't I was playing. Oh. I, 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 I can't was, speak. I was, I was playing. Yeah. I, I was definitely, definitely um, the second. Y'all are nominees, bro. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm, I'm just looking at. I'm looking at. You can, you can break down. You can break down statistics. You can break down. And like, I know it's gonna be people disagree with this, and that's cool. I'm gonna stand on it. Like, but I just personally I mean, feel you should, you should be married. I, I get it. I like, there's some it. things that you're gonna deal with when you have kids that you need a support system in place. And 
It just it it is what it is. I hate to say it is what it is because it sounds like I don't care about your opinion, but hey, I've heard that phrase I'm in just, my life. Now nah, that it was like her no first uh, point with it. She yeah. was saying that you but shouldn't I, be married. No, no, he said you should for all okay. the reasons you said. Yeah. But our rebuttal or my rebuttal was mm-hmm. like a lot of women ain't thinking like that. They want right. to get married because that's what they seen growing up. They're not right. thinking yeah. I want to get married because I want to make sure my family structure is in place. Mm-hmm. Like, and that was my whole thing about it. Like, you know, you they forcing these men like. They got this. They got this talent in their head. Oh, we've been together two years. You need to get engaged to me. Yeah, that's you know what's funny? By this, like, that's whenever, all BS. Whenever women hit that two year mark, I don't know what it is, but whenever women hit that two year mark, it's like Fresh. it be so <laughs> much, and I I hear that often. It's like that is insane to me. Especially the older you get, though. Yeah, like that's still insane. You ain't gonna know too many thirty five year olds that's gonna be wasting time with dudes. Yo, my aunt gave me the best advice. <laughs> be real ever. with you. And I was like, yeah, I'm definitely gonna live by that. Like. She was like, "Look, if the first one don't work out, fuck it. Like, it's cool. But when you when you find like, don't it's gonna happen when it happens. Like, you can't pressure somebody to, don't to pressure. be with you. You're gonna like, end up with somebody it. who you <clears throat> don't want to be with right. if you pressure them to. Right, right. And it's probably gonna be because you don't that <clears throat> you don't want to be with them because they don't want to be there because right. they right. got pressure. They right. got pressure. Right. And you're gonna feel that. You're gonna definitely <clears throat> feel that. It wasn't a." Uh, Self-made decision. Right. Yeah. I had a coworker like that. And she was like, "If he don't propose next year by New Year's, then we're done." And I was like, "Well, bitch, you better start packing." And see, the thing about it, a man might want to want to. But you doing all of that, but when you not, tell somebody, right. they gonna rebel just because you told me what I gotta do. One hundred percent. I mean, exactly what I, 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 I believe the the best example I have of of just that with people is that you just gotta let people be people. True. If that's what they're going to do, then that's what they're going to do. If they're not, then that's cool too. But you just got to let people be people. Now, I, I will say on the flip side of that, if you're out here dealing with somebody for 10 years and you're waiting on them to, to um, say that they're going to marry you, like, I'm just going to be real with you. It's a good chance that ain't going to happen. Oh, so I got a rebuttal. So everybody was, just <clears throat> two couples. I know this was like probably two weeks ago, but since we're talking about it now. Mm-hmm. So you have Miguel and I, f- I don't know how to pronounce her name, Nazami, I'm oh, guessing. Yeah, yeah. And then you have Kimbella and Jewels. Mm-hmm. And everybody was bashing Jewels and Kimbella because they were getting married, but praising Miguel and um, Nazami because oh, okay. they were getting married. And the thing was, well, he's about to go to jail. He done put her through X, Y, and Z. I think they've actually... Been, I think Miguel and her, his girl have been together longer than the other one. But it was mm-hmm. just like they both got married and white within the same, or one got married, what the other one got engaged. Gage, it was kind right. of like this bashing thing of they both been with each other for 10 plus years. So what makes one so much more special than the other? Some people just are <laughs> desperate to be married. And um, if that's what you want, that's what you want. Right. I've. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, it's really, it's on the person. Right. right. You know what I mean? But I just personally feel, man, if like if you're with somebody and you see that they ain't treating you the way you need to be treated and you only with them because you want, you have this dream of being married. Right. And this can go male or female because there's some women that can be dogging dudes and you just kind of sticking around just like, this is the one I want. Right. (laughs) Right. It was like, just because you feel like you want to be. People be scared to leave, though, man, because they be thinking, like, I don't put all this time in. Which, I guess, for me, not that I don't understand that concept of time, but that that has always been a a theme that I've heard, especially with women. I met a girl driving, and she um, she was with this guy, and she just did not like this thing. She was like, but we've been together this long, but this new guy I met, he's... She was dating him for like a year, and she was like, he's treating me right, but I've been with my other dude for years. And I'm just like, so what What are you saying? Like, you want to be with somebody because of the time or somebody that's treating you right? Like, I don't get what you going at here. It's like an easy decision, right? That's what I said, but, you know, <coughs> it is what it is, for it better is, like words. It, it is what it, it is. It is what it is, man. <laughs> hey, be happy, people. Be happy. Be happy. Woo! Still, you getting phone calls, man? Come on with the lingo with the. You about to put them on the party? You happy? No, nah, man. <laughs> <coughs> I was waiting to see if your voice was going to change. Hey, how you doing? Um, Ooh. How everything been going with you? Ooh. I'm cooling, you know, just um, working on a few things, getting my life together. But I'm going to hit you right back. I'm going to hit you right back. Ooh, that's what it's real. But I'm going to hit you right back. Stay blessed, boo. Yeah. 
Steve, you be sending uh, Bible verses and, and um, yeah. love quotes and stuff, man? I don't. Okay, cool. What you do? Listen, bro. You can't <laughs> I'm going to say, you know he ain't going to answer. Yeah, it's G14 classic. Oh, my oh, Lord. Oh, man, here we go, man. Yeah, bro. Well, <laughs> what, I, got, I got somebody on the phone. It's G14 classified, bro. For real, though, you don't be doing that sweet, man? G14 classified, bro. I ain't I bet breaking. You Steve, Steve be singing to him. I don't, him. Right. I don't bend, bro, or I, break, bro. I know you be singing to him. I can him. see Steve hitting the notes. Steve be singing to him. Steve's definitely being it. You, be, you be sending the lyrics. Right. Hey, <laughs> screenshot the song and just send it to him. It's the mood on me right, right. now. Bro. It's the mood on me right now. Hey, took the words out of my mouth. Right, oh. right. <laughs> <laughs> Quote mood. Oh, yeah. So these y'all moves. Huh? That what you did to get your old lady? No, I didn't. I didn't. Come on, I did not. Come on. What? They've been with his lady for a long time. I know that's, that's a, no, that one, I was there. I was just. So y'all didn't have. They didn't have. Yeah, yeah, come on, bro. It was a whole. We did, it was a whole another yeah. era, bro. You tried me. Was, both, 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 both of y'all, both of y'all tried me talking about a whole another era. Like, <laughs> no, I'm just saying. No, no, it's not. I'm not. You know what I say, bro? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm saying like that wasn't the vibe. He had the handwritten notes though. That's more. No, that wasn't the vibe. Fall up in the classroom. <laughs> first of all, <laughs> yes or no? <laughs> first of all, yeah, you hey, the no, fact that y'all, the fact that y'all throwing these out here, let me know that y'all know about all this stuff, so we can go ahead and. and I see a few movies. Oh, Chill out. I mean, I didn't. I didn't have it. Look, I don't. I, I, I've seen mix mix CDs played in my played in my day from LimeWire. Mi- mix CD? Yeah, you never had a, a mix a playlist on a CD. Yeah, I mean, I heard uh, my mix- mixtape. Yeah. Oh okay, yeah. but no, no, like a little like, vibe mixtape. I met I met my wife in um. Let me get the math right. I don't want to get in trouble. Hold on. Two thousand and nine. Hey, be clear on oh, that. You met her in two thousand nine. Oh, we got okay. married in two thousand. Okay, yeah, phone. You had a phone. Yeah, Fact, I had a smartphone. <laughs> <at> <laughs> nine, <laughs> bro, like what are you talking? I Niggas say you had a phone. phone. Yeah, come on now. I ain't that old. Don't don't do me like that. Oh, bro, I think you better you got there. Oh five was oh four, bro. Like you got there. You still phone, had I had a kill. phone. I had a phone and yeah, uh, no, no, I ain't had no kill though. Don't try me like that. My, my phone it. had a color on my phone, bro. Yo, you both. You just had all it did was. <laughs> I had color on my I phone. I had color on my phone for real. Get it right. Get it I had right. a color. <laughs> <laughs> I had a color on my phone. You have to turn it on. That's what I mean, bro. Just get color television. Right? I had a color on television. You didn't have I, don't, to, I, I don't remember having a black and white TV. You didn't have to turn the dial yeah, on the TV? The little, the little small joint. The kitchen. Well, okay. the kitchen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, my grandma had oh, one yeah. for a minute, though. You yeah, definitely had, right. the, had the small one in the kitchen. I mean, ain't, ain't, you can't use it. Right now, I don't think. Not now. Well, I think you can do like the, the DTV. You can put yeah, like a little cable. Back on thing. Oh, oh, oh I can. Don't want you hook the antenna up and pick up a few channels. But they got it. Got but a, that I can't remember how that one was. Type shit, huh? I think I like hooking it back or something like on the. I don't know, bro. It ain't up there no more. But I know we still got it. Yeah, y'all gonna get rid of me. Y'all just holding on to that, man. You no know, hoarding, like black people do, bro. That's that's something there. That's a whole like that. We got to do better. We got to release some stuff. <laughs> we got to release some stuff, bro. I'll be on some shit like, be careful that it's an antique. I said, no, it's just old. Oh, yeah. Bro. Just because it's old doesn't make it an antique, bro. <laughs> shit came from Renner Center. Like, I'm just, I'm just full of shit. <laughs> hey, I don't even, I don't know your mom like it, but don't even talk about your mom got it from Renner Center. We're going to have to show more respect. Well, I said what I wanted to, but look, we we don't have anything for real to <laughs> You tried to throw your mama all the way up under the bus just then, huh? No, bro. Come like, on, now. Niggas buying shit for real to bro. Don't buy it, though. It's too much. It costs too much. You be overpaying for stuff at real to center. <laughs> you stupid. No, for real. I, I walked in real to center one time, and they had a washer and dryer for like $1,200. No, they do be jacking you up. I'm off. like, fam, I could go to like. like I was going to say, by the time you actually pay it off, you right. could have bought so yeah, much I other shit. I don't understand how niggas paying 200 a week. Like, That's what I'm saying. A week? They be getting you over on You could have been bought it. You're going to save your money <laughs> and that, buy that. That's so, the thing, though. People want it now. Man. Mm-hmm. 200 a week. It'd be some outrageous shit, like even 100 a week. Like, why are you paying 400 a month, right? Right. For and then you went what a twelve month. And you did it for twelve months. Don't even realize it. Like, man, you know how much shit you could have paid off. Dollars. But that's what I'm saying. That's the mentality. You man, don't you, think about it. But you, you only it. see that shit in the hood. You don't see that shit nowhere True. else. Where, where you see a Renna sitting in Buckhead? I don't know what Renna said right now. I don't know what what that. But it's, I, I it's not even Renna sitting. They disguise. You got like new look furniture, all I mean, kinds they, of little I mean, shit. 
They still financing stuff though. They financing uh, furniture. Right, right. What I'm saying, they're yeah, financing yeah, it, but you gotta, you gotta have the it's for it. right, yeah. and it's a lot cheaper than two hundred dollars a week. Come title on, title loans, all that stuff. Yeah. You having like high title interest rates? That's bogus. People going in there trading their cars in, getting that little fifteen hundred. Hey, speaking, speaking of renters, I don't know if y'all seen it. I think it was last week. They they was texting some dude, so basically they sent him a picture of a bad chick or something like. And she was like, uh, I it. she was like, fly me or something. It got to, to the point she told, he was texting back thinking it's a female. Yeah. He, he was to like, fly yeah, fly me in. out. She was, he was like, all right, baby, how much your ticket? And it was like 400 or something. So he was like, all right, I'll just cash that to you. Or I sent it to you. She, and then the, the return of the text was like, thanks, you just paid off your rent center bill or some shit. He <laughs> said, man, how y'all find me? That was my Christmas money. <laughs> Yo, that's wild. Yeah, that's real. That's funny, though. How y'all find me? He said, thank you for paying off your rent center bill. I don't think it was real. I can't find you. No, but that just, but that did, that put it in perspective though, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, you you sit out here with these, <laughs> you got five thousand dollars worth of outstanding bills. You try to fly somebody in for the weekend. She trying to get flued out. Finesse. Flued out. <laughs> flued out. Finesse yeah, for man. real. I don't spend. You don't spend fifteen hundred. She, who, the quote unquote girl, asked about like the furniture. Oh, word. Like, kind of slipped it in there, right? Like, like what kind of bed got, you got? I got some brand new furniture type. Like, you feel me? Like. <laughs> Yeah, that shit. I see that shit, black but That's, that's funny. Yeah. Pay y'all bills, man. Absolutely, because they will call your phone. <laughs> no, for real, they man. Rent a center, shit. And don't, yeah, don't be paying by them for no rent. Yeah, man, that's you stuff. You can't afford it. You don't need it. That's the truck. Get that bitch back. No, the, the crazy thing is though, like what you go at the rent a center and spend, like you legit could go to like. Goodwill, but see, American. Freight. That's how people think about relationship. I didn't spend all this money and all right. this time. They like, like, bitch, like how you, you could have been had you a whole. You out here, you out here bullshit. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm, like if y'all want, okay, so look, this is an Atlanta podcast. I just don't like the whole everybody sleeping on much. True, shit. but guess what? Though? On <laughs> guess what? <laughs> it's a lot of sex on that couch. Yeah, you feel we, don't, we, don't be know aware. What, we don't know what's going on at the front of the store either, too, because they be selling display models. I'm not we saying that know. either, but at the Goodwill, you Except definitely get a sexed out couch. Here's what you do. Somebody Your couch, couch got bro. plenty of nut on it. A whole lot of sex sweat. This is very, very possible. I'm talking about from a big. Oh no, it's it's facts. It's not girl. possible. Like, it's facts. It's facts. Like, it's you facts. see how I'm going there? I see where you're going. Yeah, a big Rasputian looking girl. <laughs> you you get, you're getting a Norbert and Rasputian. Check, this out, <laughs> Check this out. If you can't afford no brand new couch, you just gonna have to get you a couch that don't have a little love on it. I'm just saying, if you oh, can't afford, thug it out. I, but I had a apartment when I first my first apartment down here. He had a game chair. I went the whole. <laughs> I think I had the. I went the whole. Y'all had like two little. I had no no living room furniture. Yeah, I, I had two little chairs though. Yeah, a bed. Shit, I was good. That's all you need. I gave my bro. boy the living room. Like he, I mean, he needs somewhere to stay. Gave him the whole living room. Like, like do you think? Hey, listen, yeah. I would have. Hey. We all been in there. Then Coop put on something like that the other day. Talking about nigga be fine with just the TV. <laughs> the TV. Yeah. 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 That's it. That's, that's, that's it. One chair for me. And she yeah, had like a little chair. Yep. The rest of y'all niggas got a squat. Exactly. Oh, we had the little the fold up chair. Fold up, bro. Like my, <laughs> first, my first apartment, bro. But see, that's for bags. <laughs> but see, let a woman do that. She ain't shit. It's a broke bitch. The crazy bitch part about it, it, it exactly. And the crazy part about it, my boy, his girl came over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she ain't said to me, but she said to him, and he told me. She was like, hey, "How long he been living here? He got no phone." <laughs> I'm like, but I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I, hey, I'm gonna say this though. Trying to please you. Get, get y'all like, get y'all. Um, don't put that mattress in that that box spring on the floor though. Niggas be doing but it. No, no, I, look, but the thing about it, I had a whole bed. I got a whole yeah, like, the headboard. Cause I'm board. saying like, really, in the grand scheme of things, right? You can get the little iron. Um, the little uh, the little iron. iron that shit's soft though. Like, bro, but that you can move in and out, bro. Be it's like, very tough. Be phoning that bitch out. I had to take it out somebody's house one time. Like, man, this shit you know he fit. But you don't, yeah. you don't cut up everything. Bro, so. this you know you got to angle that shit. You got to go get the tool. Right. Yeah, yeah to unscrew the middle. <laughs> Fold it. Man, it's a little process. No, good for, hey, good friend <laughs> is a process. But, but that, see, that's why they say women shit. turn houses Good friend is a process. I that's fuck why. around with the goddamn box spring in the mess of Trap house, bro. It's just you. Yeah. Hey, it's you. They if got you some come. nice air masters too, down there. 
Yeah, nigga, they got air mattress. They got air mattress couches. They got air mattress. No, seriously, they got air mattress sectionals, bro, with the ottoman. I've never seen that shit. Hey, you gotta get it how you live, though, for real. What's more important than the furniture? Look, what's more important than the furniture? Is is how clean the apartment is. No, that's fair. Yeah. Right. If the apartment is clean and the furniture, you ain't, you ain't all the way dealt with all the furniture. You can get away with it, but you can't have like one a dirty one chair ass apartment. And you got everything on the floor. You got shoes everywhere and all that. Like that ain't gonna fly. Now, no, no, no. See, there's a difference between messy and dirty. Big difference. Okay, d- define the two. Yeah. Messy. <laughs> no, there is because messy is like you know you probably just got clothes Hold on. somewhere You're everywhere. Messy? Sometimes, yeah. Uh, I can admit that. Like, I live alone. So, sometimes I come home. You live alone. It's different. I got that chair where it's like, take my clothes off, walk in the house, my couch right there, throw it on the couch, or, you know, whatever. Yeah. But I'm not dirty. Like, my bathroom's clean. This in the sink is You clean once a week? I try. No, I try to clean throughout the week. But if I don't, then I definitely clean on Sunday. Do a deep clean. Yeah, the deep clean is on Sunday. I feel you. But, yeah, like, there's a difference. You can be messy. I just don't want to pull up nobody's house and I don't know where to sit. I don't want to pull up to the house and I can't use the bathroom. That is a big telltale. If I can't use your bathroom, you gross. That's another one. That was a roommate at the time that said that? His girl said that? Well, not my boy. He had just moved up here from New Orleans. Okay, so he had just needed somewhere to stay to get on his feet. Like, okay, I'm like, shit, I got a living room with no furniture. And she pulled. He <laughs> <You> was <were> like, <laughs> I got space. I got space for you. Shit. I got a space. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and I, but you know what? Up, like, he, I think that no that is. I mean, a, we cool. It ain't like yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Making a yeah. joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's a very big misconception too. When you move out, like people expect your house to be like this fully decorated shit. Yeah. It's like we gonna piece this thing together. I just moved out, like. Let me get the couch I want. Yeah, I mean, least. anything to my defense. <laughs> she, yeah, yeah, it was right. like, this is my first apartment. I, I was just moving from different states. Right, it's like right. either the bed or the couches. So yeah. I sold my couch and I kept my bed. Yeah. You made an adult decision. You bro. did. Like, yeah, let me keep that money. And yeah. Yeah. I mean, Cause she was yeah. like, you know, when. I had some company over. We go straight to my room and close the door. We ain't worried about the living room. Ain't no couch. Hey, in my room, shit, it's like an apartment. I got the dresser, the TV. You feel it's fully really furnished. The room fully really furnished. Got a different, different, different color room. light bulbs. <laughs> Matter of fact, in high school, I did have a bed frame with the different lights and shit. The big yeah, ass. He was setting the mood. Black was setting the mood. I had the blue lights, the red lights. Ooh, nasty. Nasty. Here are your ceiling, bro. It was the mirror in the bed thing, in the frame. Oh, you nasty! He was out chill. Yeah. yeah, he was out chill. He was also like, you. you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I had the basement. In the apartment? No, I'm talking about at oh, home, at high school. House? Oh, oh, yeah, you was definitely school, nasty. I had the basement. Yo, you were nasty. What, your parents went at the house like that? I mean, they, they were. one of them blessed ones. No, nah, they was at the, I mean... I know the work just, schedule. Yep. Oh, okay. He had lean. <laughs> he nasty. Had he was a little, little, little fresh little too, boy. Bro. And he had now, the I didn't know my 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 dad owned owned his own business all, his whole life, so it's kind of like my people had too, but they kind of got to be out. They be gone. So yeah, my folks were like it went no sneaking up out at the crib, bro. It was just somebody always <laughs> at my house. It, oh. I didn't have that 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 blessing <laughs> that of experience. At high, no, not at all. At all, we had our places that we would, we could go, but. Knock him out with the trap house room. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. So check this out. Knock him out with the trap house. Like, so look, it's, it's my dog. I'm a dog. Look, 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 no, no, no. I'm real a talk. Dog, I'm, I'm a dog. I'm a dog. I'm a dog. And that's I'm that goo I saw. Got the light. Yeah. So check this out, right? So it's my homeboy's birthday today, right? The one I told you about, Prosper. Mm-hmm. It's his birthday today. I called him earlier. I'm going to see if he pick up, right? And I'm just gonna say Sam Juan to see his reaction. You okay? No. <laughs> All right. He probably gonna pick up. He, at eight o'clock. He probably having a good Listen, time. Listen, bro. Him. Get it off your chest, bro. You lost some money. Your call has been forwarded to an. Get off your chest, bro. That didn't work. Get Can't hear his chest. number. Just yeah. be feels transfer. Who? Oh, never mind. Who? He said Which Justin Fields transferred. Quarterback from the UGA, the freshman, the black kid. I think Dude, I he talking about went to school here, right? In Georgia. Where are you transferring to? I don't know. It just said he tends to transfer. 
Fuck my life up, bro. Like, Fromm got another year? Yeah, he, he, he gonna be a junior next year. A junior. You gotta leave after your junior year. That's some stupid shit, bro. I knew it was gonna happen like this, man. It should have started that point, man. Fromm had that job, bro. He took the job from, from the other dude. He wasn't gonna have it happen again. I don't even wanna talk about it. It's all good. And my homeboy called back. <laughs> Look, <laughs> to, I like how you change that subject. No, no, but to your point though, like we had we had us a spot that looking back on the it. The bowl bowl room. We call it San Juan. Because oh. it was on San Juan. Oh. Right? Code names. <laughs> Ooh, spicy. No, no, it was on San Juan. You about but to take it to DR, bro. <laughs> yeah, we over there, bro. No, no. Things things some crazy things happened on San Juan. But I just look back on it just like San Juan. Like, <laughs> you know how, like, as a kid, you don't, you ain't thinking. That's facts. But it's like now, it's just like we were in the middle of like the hood. It was a bando. My cousin, I mean, my homeboy, his cousin, just like had real. It, it was, was an apartment, oh, like a little one. A dusty couch. I mean, dusty no, it was late. Mattress you know? in the. Oh, okay. It was late, but still, it was just looking back on it. It wasn't the proper place to be taking. Oh yeah. You know I what I'm saying? What is a proper place yeah, at that time and no time and day? It's, no. As long as you get your rocks off, ain't no spiders and bed bugs, you good. Spiders and bed bugs. I'm just I'm saying for you as a furnished apartment, as long as ain't no bed bugs in there, you ain't That's true. That's true. It looks safe. Yeah, that's true. I get that. I get that. But I don't know where we was at. Especially though. furnished. We went on the tandy, then, then it was, Facts. We was out there. It's cool. Yeah, I mean, that seems to be the problem, Yeah, that's the product. Saying. That's the that's the product of our show. Free balling. Yeah. Free, free, is that the name of the episode? I, I like it. My boy said free ball at, at 50, bro. Oh, speaking of which, I do have a question. Is oh. it? Well, I'm sure it's common for men to free ball. So I think that's a dumb question. It ain't. Uh, well, it's on. not? Is Go it? Back. All right, so, so is it? Give yourself a complete thought. I want to hear what you got to say. Ooh, now I got to think a little harder. Complete thought. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let it fly. How? How 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 often is it, or is it that common for men to free ball? Should I free ball it now? Oh, t- not your bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't see. I, 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 I know, bro. So I got jobs. All right, bro. I'm good. I ain't got. I ain't, I ain't trying to you check you. You got a Look, you good. I ain't trying to check your resume. You, you all right? You got a short oh, attack. I just want. Bro. I didn't know if that was a. Com- I always know guys oh. talk about it, but I didn't know if it was a common thing Try for it. guys as it is for girls. That's that. That was I what I was think, going. I mean, me personally, no. Like it, sweatpants at the house, chilling. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Then I hop up and go to the uh, the gas store. station real quick. Like okay. that's on some like. I ain't got no job. I ain't trying to. It ain't no like. <laughs> it ain't no interaction. This ain't no. I, You're I, not I, trying to talk to see nobody for. It real. ain't no purpose. Like it ain't like on purpose. And it's kind of like yeah, we really were chilling at the crib. <laughs> yeah, and I just had to get. All right, let me go ahead. And, like I went to like the gas okay, station gonna real do, quick. Go, not gonna do. Okay. We're not about to go upstairs or wherever you're in your house, put on some drawers, put your sweatpants back on, right. and leave the house. Got you. We're going to grab these keys and go ahead and do whatever we got to do. Then we gonna be That's what's going to happen, bro. I ain't got no drawers. So that's what you got to do, bro. I, yeah, go I always hear men talk about it. I didn't know how, how often men actually did it. I know girls that do it, though. Oh, yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Free ball. I'm I free shit. ball. When I get to the end of the laundry. You're not free balling, please don't. You're not that's free balling. I'm saying. When you get to the end free of the laundry, <laughs> free vibing. Free choice. <laughs> <laughs> so what? What you say, Miss? When I get to the end of the laundry, when oh. I'm out of clothes, <laughs> yeah, I ain't got no choice. <laughs> I ain't got no choice. <laughs> <laughs> it's laundry time, and you just dread doing it. Listen, I thought yeah, I, I went through I the, 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 the box that's good, in the back good of the said, I ain't gonna say plenty, but I, I know good said we not. Good, good said girls aren't free balling. We free. I said we're free vibing. That's what we are. Yeah, y'all can't free ball. Uh, yeah, that's just balls. I'm, well, I'm free. Def- definitely f- free vibing then. What's vibing. the difference, bro? Because he said we got no balls, so we got oh, yeah, free yeah. vibe. I mean, but that's oh, a trend. Free that's a trend oh, you said they free vibe. Okay, huh? That's a trend now for women, though, isn't it? It's actually it's healthy. About, you know, not wearing bras. And no, I ain't even talking about bras. I mean, bras. Bras definitely, but I'm talking about no. I'm talking about no panties. Yeah, no draws. Like that's a that's a no draw. Yeah, you supposed to let it breathe. I mean, usually when they don't wear the bra, they usually wear the panties to work. No, nah, it depends. Oh, okay. Sometimes you can do both. Sometimes they, it's best. To I assume they got sweatpants on. They ain't got no drawers on. That's that's facts. Assume. That's absolute facts. I assume. No, that's facts. And leggings and all that. Leggings, uh, yes. Yeah, I assume they got leggings, yes. I hear it more with leggings, yes. like yeah, yeah leggings. absolutely yeah. leggings. Jeans, no, nah, that shit's awful. Don't ever do that. Yeah, you're gonna die. Yeah, I was like jeans without no. That's just nah, that that's, don't even. Ooh. That's for, on yeah. both sides. That I don't is, think nobody would be like that. That's, that's, 
you gotta have <laughs> delicate fabrics when you out here. You ain't felt pain till you did that. <laughs> you don't want to squirming like yeah, yeah that's no, why you, you gotta have deli- you gotta be in some silk or some cotton right underneath cotton. yeah you silk lined jeans yeah you ain't, like, so you, you ain't out here if just- you, look if you could pull up your clothes and you ain't got to worry about nothing metallic snagging you right. then you that fabric you is okay right but if you got fabric that's gonna have some metal on not it that hard denim you need to have some on uh, against uh, extra layer of shaft- shafting against your pants against nah, your bro. skin i'm terrible i'm actually scared to do that that's with jeans yeah, oh, I yeah, wouldn't even awful. try. It's like, it wouldn't even, it don't even make sense to do it. I don't that movie where my bands got caught up, bro. What's the movie, bro? I thought that's 40 year old version, ain't no, it? No, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. What's the movie where my band got caught up? Talk about the uh, the beans and the, the Franken beans and some shit like that. It was like a Ben Stiller movie or some shit like that. <laughs> ben Stiller was 40 year old version, wasn't it? No, nah, that was Probably Steve Carell. That was Steve Carell. Steve Carell. Uh, Probably meet the parents. Or meet the Along parents. came Polly or something. Yeah, like yeah, something about Mary. Something about Mary. That was Ben Stiller? Something about Mary, yeah. Damn. Yeah, that's that's what it is. Yeah. 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 That's, that's it is. Yeah. That right there, boy. caught up, bro. Dog, I'm talking about that visual, though, because they showed that. They I'm did, bro. bro. That was something right there. You talking about <laughs> painful looking? They like, did, bro. They did, bro. My man was caught up. Bro. Oh, oh wow! <laughs> and he made all the way up though. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He went too <laughs> fast. He did it. He did it for I real. Did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, he, the no, Wait, I got he was balls deep in that <laughs> shit, bro. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I gotta find it. Nah, it ain't gonna show you on YouTube. Oh, no, they oh got, man. Try the uncut version. Right. You know what I mean? like, That's crazy, though. Like, Frankie believe, Beans, they got caught up, bro. I could believe they did that. Like, that was one of them things, like, as a dude, you see that and you feel all types Why of people pain. people can get away with that kind of shit, mm. though? You said they can? Yeah. Are you just talking about showing it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let, right. a, let a black movie do that. Let that have it on Friday. I mean, I think it was just a different time, too. I was like, yeah, it was definitely the early 2000s. But you know, I mean, some too, but, I, know but I'm, I mean, though. really, something like white people can get a lot of get away with a lot of that. It's called a lot of that shit. Yeah, absolutely. I was absolutely. just talking about this shit last night, for real, for real. What? Oh, uh, now how they on Kevin Hart ass about the his comments Oscar. and whatnot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Shit, it's like plenty, like especially like like Kevin Hart is a comedian. Mm-hmm. Like, there's plenty of comedians who got down totem lines. Like, uh, y'all seen Super Bad? Oh yeah, yeah. And what's the fat fat one name? Um, Jonah Hill. Yeah. Jonah Hill. Shut the fuck up, Faggo. Yeah. That whole that whole hold movie. On. You know, dude that was oh, the police yeah. coming. Um, uh, hold on. No, 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 no super bad. I can't remember. It was so bad when he when he was like, Tell your fucking faggot friend he's not invited. Oh like, yeah. come on. That's in the beginning. That's in yeah, the yeah, very yeah, yeah, beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he get his he get his car told and shit like yeah. that. Yeah. Dude name was Fogel, he called him Faggo. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. You're right. Why yeah. the hell would you park your car in this teacher parking lot? <laughs> you got the whole metal real No, nah, that's shit. Shut the fuck up, Faggo. <laughs> he was pissed I mean, off. It clearly says, goddamn. <laughs> it clearly says that it's yeah. teacher hey, parking Hey, Fogo was a friend. Was like, stop <laughs> stating the obvious, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> but you <Yeah>. still wrong. <laughs> I got to go back and watch it. They they love it. Yo, that that shit up. is he hilarious. <laughs> Nah, that was him. Oh, you finally told him about Dartmouth. Shut the fuck up, Fogel. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "You should sit around." And I used to draw dicks. <laughs> See, look, okay, okay. Cool. Even that line. Okay, this segue, right? I was just talking to my people about how they make the most weirdest jokes That's, about. Shit. Like yeah. they joke about beating off, bro. Like beating. It's different culture, like bro. That. It's bro. different. When I went to, when I went to my the all boys school with a bunch of white boys, mm. my freshman year, these niggas drawing dicks in your textbook. I'm like, what is that? Are your but see they did that in our school? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, bro, why are y'all drawing dicks? Like, but see they did it in our school, but it was like, Sean Banica. But it would be like, Sean yeah, just, No, oh, okay. but it would be like. Shane Quisha suck this dick, sign, whatever, whatever. Uh, like, it would be some ratchet shit what? like that. It's just white boy. Because it would be some ratchet shit. Wouldn't somebody school in that Shane Quisha? Probably so. He'll put her on blast. No, nah, that's why I no, wasn't Shane Quisha. Kiki. No, nah, I definitely, it definitely had some ratchet names. It then. definitely was a Kiki in the building. <laughs> Hey, look. Nah, it was. It was a Kiki. 100%. It definitely, it definitely was a Kiki, Kiki in the yeah. building. But yeah, I mean, they had shit like Probably that. Probably three on each level. We definitely had a Jasmine, a Kiana, and a Britney on every level. Jasmine not black though. Yes, the fuck she was. No, was, I'm saying it's not a black name. 
You don't think so? Uh, I yeah. mean, if you say Jasmine, I'm going to think black, though. Why, bro? It's not a black name. Yeah, I don't know. Do you know a white girl named Jasmine? I don't know white girl. I don't know yeah. too many white people. Oh, well, De- Jasmine's definitely a black name. Jasmine, Brittany. Steve, man. Jasmine and Brittany. I can't deal with Steve. <laughs> you know what I mean? Say what you, got, say what you want, right? You have me a question, I answer with, truthfully. There's Ooh. definitely at least three Jasmines and three Brittany's at every you high school. You got to pour that beer, man. Listen, yeah, bro. Yeah, you got to tilt your cup, bro. Listen, bro. You know the no, I'm just trying to help you out all that phone, I don't need bro. help. Bro, you got to you got fine. two inches of foam in that cup right now. I'm fine. So I guess. Two inches of foam. Ooh, there turn up, go. my nigga. There you hey. go. Hey. With the 40 ounce. But they had the weirdest jokes in the world, bro. Yeah, they do. They're extra. Like. Damn. Do I have to be politically correct? Niggas that, that's, that bothers me. I ain't never politically They're extra correct. gay. Listen. But what you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> family guy get off with that I remember too. when you could say family, that. It family is, guy. That's what yeah, saying. I mean, but that's like satire at its finest. Yeah. That, The Simpsons, South Park. Come yeah, on. Yeah, like, 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 why, is, why is Family Guy still on and the Boondocks ain't still on? Well, because oh, it's, it's black people. Like that? But it's I mean, black people. I don't people. know if it's good, but. They said some shit. Well, you, you know, know what's funny? I always, every time I brought up the boondocks with a bunch of black people, they always said they stereotyping black people. It's not right. They should They should show us in a positive. It was always something like, like we almost can't joke about our own selves kind of thing. And mm. I always thought that was wrong because I'm like, family got to joke about everybody. But when we start, I don't know, it's, I feel like as a whole, I don't think black people are really that comfortable with ourselves to joke about our own selves. With I the world. I, I mean, you don't think I don't so. think I so. Was, I can kind of go for that, though. Bro. I don't think so. Uh, listen, how, look how we talk on social media. Yeah. You said, social on, media. You, said you don't think we comfortable I don't enough? think black people as a whole. Uh-huh. Like, all right, for instance, you may... Well, y'all nah, can say shit right. amongst y'all Like the memes and shit like that. Niggas get tased but, every day. No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying now. I'm talking about back then. That oh. Even still, like, we would... It was saying some memeable shit. And it's still like... We supposed to have this. We supposed instead of making satire about our own shit, it was mm-hmm. like we supposed to be these uplifting people, and we should be doing better and showing better of ourselves. And it's just like, no, like if we could sit around and joke about Hell, it amongst yeah, just, ourselves, you know, why we can't do that with the world? I just think world? we can't take it from. We don't joke races. about ourselves, but we not trying to hear it from no other race. I mean, it was fucking Regina King. No, I mean I ain't never heard nobody get mad at the uh, boom. I heard plenty. Oh yeah, people, no, like, I definitely heard people say I mean, like yeah, black people. You heard yeah. black people mad at the boom? Dog? Yes, uh, like it's like Uncle Ruckus. Yeah, and all that. that I, whole I mean thing. I didn't watch it. Like, oh, I fucked like, with the I didn't, I didn't watch that it. That was my but shit. But it was real. That's it's, it's, it's people really like that. But that's why I'm yeah. saying like it's that's our shit. Why we can't laugh at our own shit? That's how I felt about it. But you had people that felt completely otherwise. I don't like, know about it. Nobody is. Crucial is Uncle Records, but I feel what you said. Along the line. So the character gonna be a lot of lines. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. You like uh damn, that nigga name was Steve and all uh Django. Come on. Samuel. Oh, Samuel. Samuel. oh yeah. I don't know nobody that extreme. You feel Yo, me? That was like yeah. Uncle Records. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But that back then though, that I'm yeah, sure it was somebody that existed yeah. like that. that oh, that's the they trying to get the it was pork more than chop. one. Yeah. It was more than one. They trying to get the they trying to get the white meat. Right. Not the dark. Not the dark. They don't want, they don't want oh, just the no, skin. No, not the, no. not, the, not the gizzards. <laughs> not the gizzards. <laughs> not the gizzards. <laughs> Ooh, we just talking about that shit the other day. Yeah, I don't fuck can't stand them gizzards. That shit's gross. Damn, that's and uh, I'm the I'm not that black. Liver. I'm not that black. I'm no, telling you, I'm bro. not that black. I ain't never like, in the black community, you ain't never hear nobody talking about like. Pig feet, all that? I ain't no fan. Nah, that's I was going to the jokes and shit. You eat pig feet? You nah. Pick a pig feet? I don't eat none of that shit. Me either. The most of the pig is bacon. You on bacon. vegan shit? Nah, bacon. That's yeah, about it. Bacon and sausage. You on that yeah, vegan shit? That, um, Shut up. I try to be. What's the chips? Oh, the um pork skins. Yeah. Um, damn. Skins. I like crackling. back in the day. I definitely used to be on crackling, but them. pork skins. Same pork skins yeah. some bitches out. Yeah. For Bar- real? Barbecue. Yo, you gross. Barbecue. Call it what real? you want, bro. It was I a spot. I ain't had nothing since yeah, I was young. Yeah, but yeah, it was a no, spot. No, I had it one time. You know, man, I, taste, no I tasted it. Nah, no, I like, we used to, it was a spot in making like, she used to dip them in the grease and you get them yeah, in the bag, bag, bag yeah. full of grease. Yeah. I tasted it Pork one time. Skin. I was like six and I was like. At one of them mm-hmm. uh, little retreats, some church retreats or something like in the country back in the day. But they used and to take the whole up. pig mm-hmm. and put that bitch in the ground. And you got the bacon, the pork chops, the ribs, all the, the, the cuts of the hell, 
fresh skins. Like the shit's going digital. I'm talking about high blood pressure for all of us. Listen, yeah. <laughs> for at least two weeks. <laughs> two weeks. Good time. Ain't do nothing but drink water. Exactly. Ain't all, no sweet tea. Ain't all no the sweet bad tea. Part about it, we ain't had no bruise. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yo. <laughs> the church folks. Yeah, we had a church. We had no bruise. Right. Had, no bruise. Had, no bruise. had that in the fish fry. Oh That's my wild. god. No, 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 no. Thinking, Black people fry the <laughs> shit out of some whitening and some fucking catfish. That's it. It should be no salty as fuck. Fried the crib, what's going on? Oh, that sounds pretty uh, appeasing while you're yeah, talking about yeah, it. Yeah, you, you, you good? Who good with the grits? Bro, like. I can definitely make some grits. No, okay. I, I'm just, I can cook, fam. You feel me? I think oh, I think me and good on the same. Shit. All right, so look, I think we're on the so this, food, this, this was on the me. Cause good be popping, right? Yeah. Eat a bunch of cookies and shit. Right. So I'm I'm a, I know salmon and dinner. Yeah. Okay, Everybody so look, look, I, like I, I made I made some salmon last night. Six so six some minutes. salmon. Then I had like some some super green mix, you know, sauteed super green. Then I got some quinoa. Well, I like but how those, you said super green. I got some coconut quinoa. Fancy. You know what I mean? Like, so we can go there. We can. So what's the next event? The fish fry, I just called it. Yeah, we gotta do something like when it, it about to get when cold. It, when it though, get warm, warm up. you gotta. Yeah, you gotta, gotta warm <laughs> up to those. You can't. What that mean? You can't make the fish in the house. What you talking about? I mean, oh, but no, the fish yeah, fries. We, yeah, we come fish on, but the fish fries is definitely an outside event. What are we talking? What are we talking about? Like talk That's about? definitely booty shorts. No, right. coconut butter on the legs. We're gonna have the <laughs> tank. We're gonna have right. the fry. We're gonna have the deep pot. Outside with the with the cold brew. Yeah, that that on your your. Your driveway, bro. Like that's what the, the driveway's for. Bro. I rent yeah, my so home. It's, like, it's covered. I rent my home. Oh, say that. So I'll, you know, yeah, rent is insurance. When you rent some shit. of those things, they you can't, right. you know, I got to put it. I can put it on the patio outside that's not covered, you know. But oh, yeah, I can't like go they, up on yeah. the drive. Nah, yeah. I feel you. Neighbors on being no, called, make you know, that a, a no buffer over. summer, summer, summer. Yeah, yeah. No, I like, I like the idea of that. I like the idea of that. For you don't me. have to do that. Oh, you, you just saying for the house sake? Like, oh shit, I know shit. It probably gonna go down. Maybe New Year's Eve or something. Yeah, you bogus. <laughs> or on New Year's Day. Yeah, matter of fact, yeah, we in the house with it. Like, on the fish fry. God know, you know how people be looking for, uh, you know, something a lot do. of people like go to church. Yeah. On uh, Hallelujah New Year's. New Year's Eve church. or whatever. Yeah, that's And then folk be looking for something to eat do it after the year. Fish fry is going on at the house. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Some white bread, must, hot, with some fish and grits. And, um, I mean, uh, egg, hot sauce. Uh, eggs and grits with it. Okay. Y'all know I'm not going to lie. I've never been the biggest fan of fish and grits. I'm not even. I'm not like a huge fan what? of it. No, no. I'm serious. No. Where are you from, bro? Not for me. I never I'm not going to say I'm not a fan of it. Of it. But I'm not like just making it on the regular. I guess because I don't really care Shit. for grits. I ain't making it. Oh, you don't care for grits. Hold on, now we really got to move on. I'm yeah. serious. Let's move. No, because right. I've I've had some really Is that bad a thing grits. Up there, bro? What fish and grits? <clears throat> it's not. What y'all like? Chili. What? Huh? Chili. <laughs> 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 I got a pot, huh? I got y'all a do pot cream of wheat though, huh? Oh, I mean we eat grits. No, I'm y'all talking about grits. that one. What I was even going with? Oh, okay. Excuse me, don't chill. <laughs> <laughs> nah, hold on, hold on. I was going with. See, I, I kind of feel like he, you know, I was going like what bring, bring like black people together. together. Like we finna oh, have okay. this. Oh, okay. Like Football. I said, fish fry like that. Ohio was State football. That was a thing. <laughs> you now I'm talking about with the food. Ohio, Ohio food. State football tailgate. <laughs> <laughs> that was a, that was a thing for us, like. I ain't thinking no food on top of my head. Dad on the salmon croquettes. Barbecues. Nah, I do fuck with salmon croquettes. Barbecues in general, like. Yeah. Y'all fuck with the grits, though? I mean, it wasn't like we need grits. It wasn't the go-to. A a thing that we know going to be at every function or, you feel me? Well, not every function. We got some grits. But like like breakfast, like like, if somebody hit you with that, I'm making breakfast in the morning, everybody coming through. Oh yeah, grits. It's definitely grits, grits. bacon, sausage, eggs, biscuits, biscuits. some shit. I can't shit even like remember it. ever having like a breakfast party like. So I'll just oh, yeah? eat though. That's our problem. We yeah, just we, like to eat. Yeah, we, we just, just fat. That's right? what we own. We like to eat. <laughs> right, but now to, to my defense, my mom is from Rhode Island, so she grew up on cream of wheat and oatmeal. Excuse so me. My mom is from Rhode Island. I'm cool so on all of that. I fuck with cream of wheat. My dad is from I'm New cool. Orleans, and he grew up on grits. Bro, I so like it's something that. What part? Providence. How your like mom end up? How your mom end up in, <laughs> in Rome? It, is a lot of black people in there? It's blacks and Puerto Ricans, like Hispanics, okay. Latinos. Yeah, that whole. Vibe. Those, those were basically people that was like New York too crowded. Let me just go here. Kind of, sorta. I just missed some though. So what about the chili, bro? Where you going with? Yeah. That, bro? What you mean? Like you said, chili was like that's the first thing you named on rip. I, I jumped the gun. I thought you were about to ask like, what's a food in, that's in Cincinnati that a lot of people eat it? Everybody eat? Cause, yeah. Like, so y'all's is chili. Yeah. Oh, 
All Chili right. is like like we got a bunch of like Coney spots. Oh, oh we all okay. Chili's just y'all spot. shit. Coney, like, yeah, Coney, Coney big yeah. in um Detroit too. Yeah, I think. Oh, that's a, that's like a the Coney Island, like yeah, it's, it's just. A, oh yeah, Coney Island. Yeah, three, we got like four or five places. Yeah, hot dog spots. Yeah, with Coney's and shit. This is one spot called Mr. Jeans. Nigga. They only open. <laughs> Yo, he <laughs> that high. He he was was like like deep deep deep. Deep. Nigga. They only open from like February to like. They only open when it's warm because it's like a little a stand, like stand. a little a building outside. So they only open from like February to October or December. I mean, November. Mm. So when I go out to Cincinnati, bro, we go out there, bro. Got to take me to a hot dog spot. I can't recall a hot dog spot right now. Here. But I can't Absolutely. see none of them, though, because port. You don't eat pork no more? I ain't know that, my brother. You got hey. a year? year and a half? Something it's like it. Go, man. It's cool, man. You gonna hit me with it? What? I said, it's something like it, bro. Like, hey, my religion. I ain't gonna oh, play it. I ain't gonna play it. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> see, that man's smart right there. He's smart. He's smart with it. <laughs> Be out here saying some shit. Huh? I eat everything else. I just know They don't have beef hot dogs? In the hot dog spot? Oh, nah, so most places don't. Wait, y'all have... All of the pork. Oh, where? I thought all, all beef hot dogs. Check, dog check. Next thing. time, like, if you go to the grocery store and they be like, um, these are chicken hot dogs, on the label, read the ingredients. In the That's what I be having to do. I be having to read the ingredients. Like, damn, this shit got... Pork. Like, I didn't realize how much shit had pork in it, like sausages, mm-hmm. like yeah. meatballs and all that. Like, mm-hmm. I just never thought about Maybe, it being pork. It could be said, like sausages. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, saying, they talking about the different sausages. It's like sausages, is pork. smoked sausage, kielbasa, oh, yeah. Polish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really think about. <laughs> talking about like, oh, you talking about in like different food? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. They be man, pork and everything, bro. Like Facts. they be lining it's food. It's the cheapest pork. shit, bro. Shit, pretty gross. much. It's good though. It is good. Well, bacon. Bacon. Ham. Right. Ham. 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 Bro, nigga, I remember I had a I'm not the biggest fan of ham. I'm cool on the ham. I'm cool on the ham. Honey bacon. I have. That's I've probably had, but ham. I had was honey. I mean, yeah, but even still, it's like I'd yeah. rather have bacon. Pork chop. I had that in a long y'all time. Y'all bugging, bro. I'm not going to lie. No, a fried pork chop. Damn it, everything off that fucking relax. pig is good, bro. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. A, a fried pork relax. chop for Big Daddy's on National? See, I don't fuck with them pig feet. That shit cold. Like, what are we doing? It coming out of the jar. I said. Pork chop. Nah, I'm t- I'll, oh. I'll, yeah. I'll just double it. Oh, okay, like got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. I don't fuck with that type that of shit. That shit gross. That shit stink. Yeah, it does. Why would but you want something that's I don't eat been, shitless neither. I'm like, I'm walking. Jay, it, I mean, they probably do be busting in there at the AJ because I caught that first whiff when I was younger. Mm, and I ain't been that way since. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I feel like the fact you got to drown in hot sauce is mad. With the Italian bread crumbs on that motherfucker. It used okay. to make a nice pork tenderloin, know. man, back no. in the day, man. Ooh, you stuffed it? Yeah, stuffed. Man, me, you have to come out with a cookbook, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I used to stuff it, put it in the oven. Yeah, bro, we said this first Slice episode, it. and y'all been bullshit. Sorry. Yeah. I'd definitely be out here. No, first, no, I was saying that. <laughs> Gotta get <D>. the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just. We'll, we'll y'all get the cookbook. <laughs> We got there. We have our event, bro. We got the friends and family come through. Got there. Get down, bro. Y'all bullshit. They knew. <laughs> I had a goddamn math teacher for that great. I ain't lying. Look, like, no. me and me had to be like, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. You know what I'm saying? That was, that's the event. That's the social. Mm. Facts. <laughs> Y'all bullshit. Got that. We get that shit. No buffer cook off. Listen, mm-hmm. bro. That's what it is. That's what I'm saying. It had that shit got down. Black, we got your hot oil. We ain't going to call you prices out. Not not on L, you know, cause I'm, I was shouting out the love prices then. Right, right. <laughs> Shout out the fan prices. You, you know what I'm saying? Shoot you some, yeah. Get your plate, you good. Mm-hmm. All right. Anyway, ham got there. Ham good. I'm back on the ham shit. Yeah, that's good. 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 Yeah, that's However, it's coming. I'm taking it. Oh, wow. you just—I don't like that. Uh, hot, cold, all that. <laughs> no facts. Yeah, I told him that. Like I told all him. that. No facts, bro. What? Yeah, yeah, bro. I'm talking about after Thanksgiving, bro. I don't yeah. even. Oh, you making you a sandwich? I don't even warm that bitch up. You making a Cut sandwich? Cut that bitch off. And eating that bitch. With the fat and everything hanging, goddamn. On the, the white part. That's a Hawaiian bread <laughs> or something like that. Bro, you got me fucked. I'm smashing this shit. Now the only ham that I do like it is if it's the brown sugar joint. No, mm, I'm that's, fucking that's all that I shit up, bro. Sugar. Like the math teacher talking about, y'all know the, the ham is the ass, right? 
Then one Sorry. girl say, "That's a good ass." <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you talking about the funniest shit? <laughs> lucky Ace ain't here. Uh, you know he would have threw his his his. Eat a booty gang joking yeah. then. Oh yeah, he would have yeah, right yeah. Ain't no that. wrong with the ass. <laughs> no wrong with the ass, guy. <laughs> oh, you, you, you ETB? Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> he would have been a shit. Uh, so you ETB? <laughs> he definitely is. I don't eat, I don't eat the ass uh, on the ham. On the ham. On the ham. Yeah, you I mean, I only like the brown sugar one, but even so, I've, ne- I've never been like when it comes down to that, I've never been the biggest fan of it. I, I, because me personally, I just feel like where's the bacon? Or That's the pork the, chop. The bacon is bacon is for everything. Bacon is bacon good. Man. It's for everything. Bro. Oh yeah, don't judge me. So I watch I watch weird stuff on YouTube, and I was watching. How weird? We are not gonna go there yet. No, we can't. No, we not. We here? So I was watching this thing, right? It was about <laughs> different cuts of bacon. And can he tell the difference between the cheapest and the most expensive mm. slice of bacon? Okay. It was pretty phenomenal. I didn't know there were that many cuts of bacon. Oh, yeah. And I think personally, I would personally probably like the Euro cut of bacon. The Euro it, cut? Yeah. What is that? That's thicker? So it's thicker, but it also gives you the Canadian part of bacon, mm-hmm. and then it gives you the American part of bacon. So we take from the belly. The Canadians yeah. usually just take from like the shoulder. Part. Why they call it Canadian bacon? First of all, and it's all it's all the pig. But second of all, that shit tastes just like a ham. It's the cut. So technically, Canadian bacon is ham. It's just the way that they process the cut. Oh yeah. So the Euro part. bacon takes the Canadian and the American part. So you get the ham part, but then you get the fat of the belly and everything else. I'm not really trying to mix that though. No, no. But listen, they got distinct flavors. No, no, no. But when I'm um, okay, listen. oh, oh. <laughs> you fry that bitch up. It's a whole other story. Pig talk. <laughs> pig talk. <laughs> pig. No, we talk that pig talk. Fry that bitch up is a whole different story. Mm. It's like the best of both worlds. But it, but it also depends on the brand. Because all Canadian bacon isn't supposed to be like... Like, American Canadian bacon is more like a bologna type thing. Where they kind of mix it all to be like uh-huh. a ham with the casing. And that's not real Canadian bacon. Bro, I wish you still ate pork, bro. It's a spot by your spot uh, called First Watch. It's like a little breakfast spot. Yeah, they, I've been there. They got them in Cincinnati. It's just a breakfast. I mean... They got that mean there. The mean there bacon up there. I mean, that's what it's called. With the the black pepper and the brown sugar and the oh no that shit delicious that bitch like five dollars for a, a order man that shit good they boy. even got into like I'm on that shit you can tell the difference when it's just liquid <laughs> smoke versus when it's actually smoked you can tell mm. by the skin and the coloration of it you can tell if it poke holes in it the fat content if it strips pretty bro. you don't fuck with the I'm bacon either <laughs> you don't fuck with the pork no more either I mean if I do it's bacon like I have bacon. Randomly, but but when you do, you get like twelve slices of shit. Huh? No, it just be like on the sandwich or something. Nah, like shit. <laughs> I was gonna oh, say shit when nah, I get nah. it's at least six. <laughs> it's funny you said that shit, bro. It's at least six slices it of bacon. It's called Gut Busters on Cascade and Fulton Industrial, bro. Mm-hmm. For like six dollars, you get the cheese, grit cheese, egg, two slices of French toast. And they give you like eight slices of bacon. I'm like. Bro, y'all must got the plug on the bacon, it's bro. It's called like, gut busters, bro. bro. It's bro. called gut busters, bro. Listen, bro, I had to throw the rest of the trash, bro. Like, this shit was too much. Oh, oh, nah, it was, oh, it was damn. a lot going on, bro. Wow. Yeah, it was a lot going on. Nigga had to goddamn that shit. Bacon, it couldn't have been no fire bacon if you threw it away. It was fire. I said the French show with dead busting. I had yeah, but you threw away bricks. the bacon, though? Yeah. I had like two more slices. Like, I couldn't eat no more, bro. What, what's the you point, bro? That to the crew. I'm going to save two slices of bacon, bro. I mean, that's you when you just. That in the car. I, I, sound real, say, I sound real privileged, right? Yeah, I'm like, bro, you. <laughs> that's when you wrap that shit in the napkin yeah. and you hey, eat that look, shit look. When, when you driving. Like, oh yeah, <laughs> bacon. Hey, look, I, I apologize. Bro. It's okay, that, bro. No, that shit Not everybody's real. fortunate to just throw away that shit two real, good right ass right pieces now. of bacon. Yeah, no, I apologize. No, on some real shit, bro. I apologize. Bro. Hey, I might so, have just throwing shit away, bro. Um, so we gotta we gotta wrap this episode. Go ahead, bro. Aww. Go ahead on the bacon note. Yeah. Okay, note. look at y'all with the live hip hop daily news stream at the bottom. I see y'all. We getting fancy. Hot takes. So, yeah, so check. you don't know we on our way. <laughs> New year, new us. We are, we on our way. <laughs> we on our way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We on our way. Mm. Uh, I'm trying to tell you, good. Go ahead and cut out everything out. You gonna have too much on the plate, bro? Where Carl Thomas at? Oh, I was shining, shining, oh, and all. Oh, and here's the, oh, and all. Hold on. I 
I wouldn't <laughs> hurt so much inside. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Every time that song come on, you gotta like be like, ooh, mm, that's a good vibe. I just heard somebody. We, you know, look, look. With Some black people massive hear is going. On. Everything stops. Quiet, you're like, well, All right, what's going you coming on? in or what? All right, that must be going somewhere else. All right, cool. It was just moving too fast. Moving too fast. No, it was moving too, fast, no, it was moving too heavy. <laughs> like you carrying something, right? <laughs> like you carrying something. Niggas running this shit. Damn, damn, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. right, uh, damn, that shit go. Damn, hold on. Mm-hmm. My word of the week is I said in the show earlier, uh, cahoots. C a h o o t means partnership or league. Hey, question. Go ahead. Where you um? You be on the app that you get your um? Nah, fam. Um, no, no, no. I'm talking about like where you get shit, your definition well, from shit. because like last week I was trying to find it. Oh, they came, it came differently. Yeah, and okay. I want to make sure I was getting exactly what you were saying. I might have ad libbed it, bro. Like Who knows? Oh, cool. Okay, for sure. <laughs> no, bro. My name Lingo. Is Lingo looking funny in the mic? Lingo, Steve. Lingo, Steve. See, I wasn't even trying to go down, bro. I wasn't even trying to go down. I just thought you were using the album, so I was like, let me get the same. I'm in conscious talking for him. <laughs> you said Kahoot partnership or what though? League or or league? Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Shame. 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 All right. No, I wasn't actually. I was, I was actually. <laughs> no, I was actually liking this sweater I was about to get. <laughs> look, look, she looking like I don't know where I'm finding it. I'm not moving fast. Shut up! I was actually liking this sweater that I'm, I'm actually getting. So now, so my. Like- Shut up, I did. I just she liked it. <laughs> I swear. I like Whatever. Anyway, I'm. <laughs> I can't stand y'all. Anyway, my shout out of the week. I can't stand y'all. So um, I, I wore them for um the Den Fest 2010. Mm-hmm. Um, my shout out of the week goes to Quality Dope Contributions. Um, shout out to my nigga Trill, um, aka uh, Lyrical Thoughts. Lucrative thoughts, my bad. Lucrative thoughts. Um, he got his own little line. His little phrase is just doing me. Make sure y'all go check him out. He got like raincoats, sweaters, hats, t shirts, sweatshirts, joggers, all that good shit. Um, yeah. Check Quality him out. dope. Mm-hmm. Quality dope contributions. The um Instagram is at Q D C B T P. Hey, tell him, man, if you wanna just, you know, throw some gear over to us. I mean, I mean, I could, I could, I could work, I could work that out. I mean, out. we all trying to, you know, we're trying to prosper. Out. Need to it. You know, we're just trying to, <laughs> you know, uh-uh. trying to be saucy. You trying to be giving free shit away. They just try to throw hit you with that medium. <laughs> right. They throw them mediums out there right. quick. Yeah, right. Here you go, fam. I feel like you can either. Sh- what I'm doing? Right. You child, I'm supposed to get this too. You can either I'm stretch it or shrink it. That's one of the two I'm goals. I'm talking about, but it's a never at the house undershirt. You can't do that. <laughs> Walk around like Winnie the Pooh and shit. <laughs> you should have done that thing. Well, I got some underarm in it. Gently worn. Right. You stupid gently worn. Oh, man. Wrapping up. Yeah. Sad. All right. Well, thank you all for tuning in to an, another episode of the No Buffer Podcast. The culture at your show. We say what we want when we want. No Buffer, just facts. We got last name good. Cheyenne XO and Lingo Steve in the building. Catch us every Monday at 7 p.m. at LiveHipHopDaily.tv. And, I mean, that's it. We'll see y'all asses next week. Yeah. Yeah.